Welcome to Neuro Habits. In today's video, I will give a presentation about the frontal lobe's anatomy. You will often hear people refer to the frontal lobes as the frontal lobe or as the prefrontal cortex. While they are very similar, they do have some differences. For example, the frontal lobe includes the precentral gyrus whereas the prefrontal cortex does not include the precentral gyrus. So if you look at your brain, you first want to find the central sulcus. So in here, in this model brain, the central sulcus would be around here, and the frontal gyrus would be here. The precentral gyrus would be here. So here, the frontal lobe includes the precentral gyrus, Whereas the prefrontal cortex does not include it, so it would be from here to over here. Okay, next I would like to go a little deeper and talk about the three frontal gyri. There is the superior frontal gyrus, which is around here, the middle frontal gyrus, which is around here, and the inferior frontal gyrus, which is a little harder to see, it's around here. Dividing them are two sulci, the superior sulcus, which would be around here, and the inferior sulcus, which would be around here. Now Broca's area. Broca's area is a very important part of human brain anatomy. Why? Because its function is related to language output. When you talk about Broca's area, you want to make sure that you are in the left hemisphere because it is only present in the left hemisphere. You will not find Broca's area in the right hemisphere. Broca's area includes the pars triangularis or Broadman area 44 and 45. These are all different terms that refer to the same global place. So here again, you first want to locate the central sulcus. In this brain, it would be around here, and in front of that, you would have the precentral gyrus, which would be around here. And you will find Broca's area in front of the precentral gyrus, like around here. Okay. Finally, I would like to talk about the orbitofrontal cortex. Um, you will find this if you look at the inferior side of the brain. And here I will show you where it is. So it would be like from here, all around here, around the temporal lobes, and around the olfactory bulb. And the same on the other side, you go around the olfactory bulb, and around the temporal lobe, and back up. Okay. The reason I avoided the most frontal part right here is because this part belongs to the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. If you want to find more information about the frontal lobe functions, uh, I will talk about this in our next videos, or you could visit our website at www.neurohabits.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit www.neurohabits.com for more information, videos, and other cool brain stuff.